We've got, as I was saying, Martinique and Guadeloupe back under uh, lockdown. Just why has the COVID-19 outbreak deteriorated so much there? Well, one very simple question to that is uh, the number of people that have came to those islands. Um, just for June, to have an idea, the population in Guadeloupe raised from 400,000 inhabitants, which is the normal population, up to 500,000 inhabitants. So it's a force of increase in the, in the population. And most of this population of visitors have concentrated in the urban area and most of that of it of the coast of those islands, which means that the density of the population raised from nearly 500 to more than 1,200 inhabitants per kilometer square. And this tells you that the, it, it is a, an open bar for the, the virus to spread because of the density of population. And that's the problem of an island. An island, as long as there is very few people contaminated, is a safe place to be. But as soon as you have a threshold of a sufficient number of contaminated people, then the spread is dramatic as we can see right now. So um, that's the, the main issue against that um, pandemic is that do we lock down the population or do we favor the economic activity? And what is going to happen in the island right now is that because we have opened the um, economic activity, the, this um, activity is about to collapse because of so many people uh, touched and, and contaminated. Let's talk now about the, uh, the vaccination rates on the, these islands on, on France's overseas territories. Why are so few people going to get vaccinated? Well, it's a question of strong belief. It's very difficult for uh, people to understand that there's a threat from an invisible uh, disease. We, we have to bear in mind that from the people that who get contaminated, 80% will remain uh, with unnoticeable uh, clinical signs. So they won't realize that they are contaminated, although they do spread the disease among their neighbors, relatives, uh, uh, and, and people around them. On the other side, only 20%, that, that's only two out of 10, would uh, have some clinical symptoms and 5% and of them will go to the hospital and, and um, create a surge capacity in the hospital because of the massive amount of people in the intensive care units. So, so it's very difficult for every individual to realize how um, noxious is the disease unless you have close relatives who dies from that. Tonight, I was at the emergency ward in Vernon in France, and, and I've seen people who were panicking because they were uh, announced that they were positive on the PCR. And what happened is they had known people dying from the coronavirus. So it created an anxious uh, state that was so important they couldn't eat anymore. They were believing they were about to die, which was not the case. So it's difficult for, for uh, people who are in an island to understand First, that they are secure to be in the end line, and so all of a sudden, they, they are so weak, weak uh, against the disease. Okay, Jan Cedric Hansen, Vice President of Global Health Security Alliance, thank you very much.